Karen, good afternoon. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Well, it's so brilliant to be with you guys. What fun. Ah, uh, no, here. You just resolutions. Wait, wait. I actually want to say, finally, <laughs> we have been fighting tooth and nail to get this lady on the couch <laughs> and behind <laughs> our kitchen. Not only is she busy, she was like, I'm a superstar, baby. <laughs> So how we want the whole show dedicated to ourselves. <laughs> How's Michelle Obama doing? And what are some of your New Year's you resolutions? Mean, you mean my BFF, Michelle. Yes. My BFF, Michelle. She came to visit my restaurant in 2011. Amazing woman. So generous, so kind, so mm. gracious, and so clever. You know, giving her endorsement to a little shop in Woodstock in a developing place. She was amazing, and of course, it had a huge impact on us. I mean, you know, sharpshooters on their roof, closing <laughs> the road. It was amazing. And like, so she knew exactly what she was doing coming oh, to us. Man. Look, my amazing. top two questions mm. is, when Michelle Obama visits your restaurant, yeah. what do you cook for her? That's number one. And number two, then how do you continue to close that kitchen? <laughs> I know, oh. I know, I know. Ah. So, it was amazing. We just gave her what we do every day, yeah. what we did every day, amazing salads. We made love sandwiches for her kids. Her mom and the ambassador were fighting over the honey mustard sausage. <laughs> it, was, it was so much fun. And you know, we, my, my restaurant was so loved and we, had, we did a beautiful thing. And oh. when I decided to close it in just at the beginning, kind of June 2020, mm. it was it was hard, a hard, hard thing to do. Mm. And, but I knew it was the right thing. I knew we weren't going to get visitors from abroad. Yeah. All the local businesses, you know, were, were working from home. Yeah. Um, all the aunties from Constantia and Camps Bay weren't going to come anymore. Oh. You know, it was a hard thing to do. And then to look after my 20 people and oh. not knowing. Man. When you're used to seeing Sunny. 100 people and then oh. you're seeing, you know, 20 sure. people. And you so it was... But it was the right thing, and I had such a peace that we did a beautiful thing and a good mm. thing. And people are quite cross, you know. Yeah, I was going to say they're there was quite an cross. Outlet. They they outlet. they miss the kitchen, and um, I miss seeing people, and I miss cooking for people a little bit. Well, you're still here, Karen. I'm I mean, still you're here. You're going nowhere, and who's to say what the future holds, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. In fact, and you're so much so that you've inspired yourself <laughs> to inspire the rest of us by writing a stunning, stunning book. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So the book is called Onwards. Da -da 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 like it has a, uh, it also has a signature thing onwards, onwards. you know. It. <laughs> it, so comes on. yeah. it comes with the mood. It comes with the mood. Exactly, kind of think, you know, Soviet poster. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, onwards is the story from the close of my restaurant, which was kind of sad, mm. um, to to moving to where I am now, which is kind of understanding that my community and the people who love food are beyond bricks and mortar. Yep. There are lots of people out there who need wonderful recipes, yeah. who need to be inspired, who need to take kind of humdrum to make it amazing. Mm -hmm. So there's so many great things to do. So Onwards tells the story, they, they, their titles are like recipes I would have made at the kitchen. Um, I make lunch for my sweetheart now. Um, lipstick and earrings for Instagram, oh. um, and I that sort of thing. Titles. Looking for like hunger and curiosity, yeah. you know, to keep keep things fresh and interesting. You know, pushing the boundaries of what can be yummy and simple mm. and delicious and inspiring. So. Yeah, that's what Onwards is all about, is moving on. And also spending time with my family, you yeah, know. I kind of, when you're, when you're a chef, you kind of make all this amazing stuff for people that you don't know, or, you know, some strangers, some friends too. Yeah. They become. Um, and your family kind of, you know, miss out on all that yummy stuff. Yeah. And so now I was getting to be like a proper mummy at home. I and love cook that. real good food. Ooh. And they were getting all my creativity in one place. I love it. <laughs> I mean, it was wonderful. speak about food just gives me the passion for it. Mm. You've now already three cookbooks um, yes. done and dusted. Now, I love these cookbooks. One thing about me, They're they were good. simple, they were easy. I was whipping up the salads <laughs> like it was nobody's business. Yes. Time. So, yes, girl. moving from these cookbooks mm. that uh, we're also familiar with mm. to your brand new baby mm. onwards, what flavors can we expect mm. here? What kind of flavor palettes are kind of bursting? Mm. Mm. So, what I discovered, mm. And what I've kind of always known, but now I really want to share with you, is that it's all in the dressings and the sauces and the sprinkles and the crackles. Mm. It's all in, if you have just the simplest thing, a little piece of broccoli, but a really good sauce, all of a sardine, comes alive. It comes alive. Your life is different. So you yeah. can take a simple piece of fish, but you have a good sauce with it. Amazing. So I've kind of really 
kind of got some really base good sauces, like some um, Vietnamese chuk nam dressing and some really amazing things that are kind of really fresh and sparky. Yeah. And once you have those in your fridge, you can transform almost, almost anything. And then yeah. you can layer up flavors, make it amazing. You do have also quite a lot of projects and things that you've yeah. got your hands in. And not only just the brand new baby, the cookbook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you just tell us about Everything, Karen. <laughs> so, what? We've got the time. We've got the time. Um, what I've been loving doing is realizing that I understand a lot about where food and people connect. Yeah. I kind of have an instinct for what people might like. And so I've been able to share my knowledge and my experience with other people setting up food businesses, restaurants and hotels, which is grand. Because mm. I come in, I bring all the yummy stuff, and then I say, work with the people who are already making the food mm. and going, guys, look, this is all possible. So I've been doing a little bit of consulting with, with some restaurants and hotels. I love doing that. I love it. But bringing also, bringing the magic, I like to think. Yeah. yeah. You also know um, how to find magic because, I mean, I saw you were like a fierce judge there. But I would judge yes. awards. That was so much fun, you guys. <laughs> Oh, the hard work of having to eat out all the time as an eat-out judge. Where was Travel I? Travel all over the country, eat in the most beautiful restaurants of South Africa. Gosh, it was fun. I was going to ask, where was my plus one too? It was so fun. And, and actually, quite serious work, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you're really tasting properly, you're really experiencing. Mm. It's actual work. And then kind of fighting with the other judges, you know. Mm. Um, like, nice fighting. Hey. But like, um, really debate about mm. different restaurants. It was a lot of fun. And what was great was I kind of reconnected with chefs and people in the industry mm. and really kind of understanding what people are doing, how people are innovating. Oh. Well, I'm so looking forward to not only being able to spend the rest of the hour with Karen, <laughs> but I'm also excited to get into some fun and interesting recipes oh. from this brand new cookbook. Mm. Such yummy things, you oh, guys. Oh, lots, lots so of those. Stay tuned because after the break, we're going to be kicking things off yeah. with that uh, teaching that you're going to be getting. Teachings, lot of, lots of them that you're going to be getting through from Karen. Yeah. Uh, of course, her favorite recipes that have come come through in the year 2022, but yeah. we're going onwards. Onwards. 2023. With <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>